Hello Shekinah Glory worshipers, my name is Persis and I wanted to make a video in which I, you guys come along with me as I make a flag from start to finish. I feel like in the praise dance community, not a lot of people give advice on how to make flags, how to find material and pad fabric for free. So I also wanted to sh uh, make this video so in case anyone else wants to get into flag making for their ministry, they can do so. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. So this flag right here, um, that is purple, white, and blue, we would say that would be, I think it's pronounced like a habalte silk. Um, you could either use silk or polyester to make those. The one that Rejoice is using, this purple one, this is, this would be a liquid lame uh, fabric. And then this one, um, Dorothy's using, that could be considered like a sheer lame. Those are a little bit harder to find. Um, that could be like kind of considered a like a iridescent lame, um, something that's a little bit on, more on the sheer side. And then the okay, and these are the sheer moon satin flags that I made. So this is the fabric that I was talking about. It's not liquid lame, but it moves beautifully. Um, and so. To learn about different types of lames, you can go to this website up here. It's called Tisarusa, I think, Luxury and Exclusive Fabrics, and search up this article, Lame Fabric Characteristics and Uses. But I wanted to tell you about different uh, websites or vendors that you can buy lame from. So if you're at all interested in the Japanese paper lame fabric, this manufacturer is uh, up here, IMD AAR. They have several other colors as well that you can browse through. Another vendor is Minerv Minerva. I can't pronounce some of these names, but here you see how affordable these fabrics are. Five, uh, five euros per yard, which I think is about seven uh, U.S. dollars. And if you're in um, London or Europe, they are you can buy some lame fabric on eBay. I've seen some on eBay, so that's also an option for you. Some other vendors here is another vendor called Online Fabric Store. Here, lame fabric, five dollars per yard, different colors offered, and then of course, you can search up uh, different. Lame is like if you want a hologram lame, you can see if this manufacturer uh, provides some, or if you want an iridescent lame, a pearlized lame, you can search it up and see um, if they have some. Because as I'm searching them up, I'm realizing that some uh, some some companies differ in what on what they like, how they describe their lame. So like even though this website describes their lame as hologram, another website may describe it as iridescent. So you might have to switch around with different search terms in order to find what you want. And nothing, another thing to note is that some websites call, instead of saying lame, they say spandex stretch knit. So that's also something to note as well. This, fa this website is called fabric.com and here you can have you can buy hologram lame ten dollars per yard which is amazing because um some other companies will sell some other like praise dance flagging companies will sell you like a hologram lame uh large for like 150 so you know that you can buy ten dollars per yard and make it yourself is amazing <laughs> for us on a budget here again we have fabric.com and they ha have other offerings like a foil lame um, so yeah, you can visit visit this website, see the, the different colors they have, and if any one may work for you. And of course, read some reviews as well. Here is another website. This is uh, Fabric Direct. Where is what I'm looking for? Let me hold on. Let me search up. I don't have it ready. Okay, here we go. Here they have Liquid Lame. This is, so their liquid lame is like $6 per yard. Check out this company, they have so many different um, offerings when it comes to color. Something to note uh, with this website in particular is that they sell um, like 25 yards 
um, but then but then they, you can also buy some for just one yard so if you get on this website make sure and you only and you only want one yard sorry if you get on this website and you only want one yard make sure to click this one not where you see bolt price and I want to show you guys this because I have not yet found this type of uh, material on any of the um, fabric companies that I've looked at, but it's on worshipwarriors.net. Uh, she makes praise dancers, uh, sorry, praise dance flags, and she sells her fabric for $14, which is definitely expensive relatively, but I think so affordable. And then if you're more so into Etsy, Etsy also, you can find some vendors, like with LeMay over here for $8. Um, oh, these are flexi rods, by the way, uh, if you're interested. But, I'll, but, I can, but I'm also going to explain in this video how to make your own rods. Okay, here we have this gorgeous foil LeMay. This is $13 per yard. So this is definitely like... If you use, instead of using Etsy, if you use like a, the fabric wholesaler, you'd probably pay like $7, but it just might be hard to find. Maybe the fabric wholesaler doesn't have it in stock, so that's when you could go to Etsy and see if any smaller company offers this. Here we have another metallic frill liquid lame, $6, and then this one is really sheer. Um, I'm not sure if they could be used for praise dance flags, but you could try it. Because um, it is an organza fabric. Um, I've tried making f uh, flags out of organza. It's kind of hard. But if you're interested, there's that as well. So I'm currently on this website called AmericanBand.com. So they make flags for people who do um, color guard. But I found that um, they have a lot of... Yeah, so they make flags for people who do cover guard, but I found that they have sell fabrics as well for wholesale value, and then they also have flags that you can um, individually buy right here. This website is super cool because they have flags of different shapes, and they also allow you to customize, like to create um, custom flags, so whether you want like a particular color or a particular drape um, you can just order them and they're really really affordable I think they're like around $20 for um, a custom flag okay here's an example you can buy this and then customize the colors that you want or if you just want a single solid color then you can customize that so that's awesome a comic a common mistake that can be made is buying tissue lame. Sorry, tissue lame. Tissue lame is just way too um, stiff and paper-like. It kind of has the consistency of like organza, so it doesn't give you the drape and the flowiness that you would want for a praise dance, praise dance flag. As you can see, it, the movement is not great, and it kind of uh, crumples easily. Same thing as paper lame. It all, it's also just not the most fluid uh, fabric that you would want. So when you're searching up fabrics, make sure that you look for something that says, for example, micro lame. Here you kind of see the movement that's like similar to um, some high quality praise dance flags that are sold, like the call to flag praise dance flags. Uh, so micro lame, something that you can search up, or you can search up metallic lame. This metallic lame is just a little bit more knitted. Um, so it can be a little bit heavier, but still that fluidity is still there. And uh, as I was saying before, your goal though is to search up liquid lame. So this is liquid lame and you can see how fabulous the movement is. I forgot to mention Fabric Wholesale Direct. To my knowledge, I don't think they have liquid lame, but they do have poly china silk lining 
um, and charmeuse satin and silk georgette uh, chiffon um, which can also work for flags. I've previously used charmeuse satin to make uh, praise, dance, praise dance flags and they work beautifully. I'm going to insert a clip of uh, me <laughs> using them so they flow really nicely and they're only uh, three dollars per yard um, and they were pretty pretty simple to construct as well but I do definitely do want to um, try with the liquid lame and see if I can get a more professional look but the Charmeau satin if you're really on a budget yeah they don't have I don't think they have liquid lame on this website but um, if you're really on the on a budget the Charmeau satin is literally three dollars per yard and they work beautifully so I buy my flexi rod slash rods from tap it's like the fantastic plastic place tapplastic.com so here's like the box it comes in and then you just kind of have to determine what rod size you want like I have these really really thin and flexible ones so as you can see they're really really flexible and then I have one in a different size I have like a clearer one also really flexible and then I have some bigger rods for the heavy duty fabrics. These are a little bit um, less flimsy. So use the lightness of your fabric to determine the lightness of your rod because you want them to flow together. And then next you have to decide what, uh, whether your rod goes the length side or the height side. So once you get your fabric, try and locate where you think is the back side of the fabric. So, I think this fabric is back side, I mean double sided, so I'm just going to choose one side. So these two iridescent blue and orange um, are both one yard, but I couldn't decide like where I wanted the rod to go. So for this one, the rod is like on the longer side. Um, so as you can see, the rod is on the longer side, but then for the blue one, I decided to try and see how the rod looked like on the shorter side. So here is the rod. And then, yeah, here's how it came out. Pro tip, lay some paper tower on the ground so you don't want to get the glue on your floors. But once you look, uh, once you find the back side, uh, place the fabric um, with the back side facing upwards and then place your rod right on top closer to the edge of wherever length that you want the rod to be placed at. For over here, I'm placing the rod on the um, longer side. And then you're gonna be using this glue. It's called uh, Alini's Original Quick Dry Fabric Fusion Permanent Fabric. Please get this glue. I did like hours of research on the best glue. And so I believe it to be this one. Ah, shoot. Place the glue right on the top side of the rod and then you're going to turn it over and press. Turn it over and press really quickly. Make sure every side is turned over um, and make sure the rod stays in place. You do not want the rod to turn over. So just press um, the fabric into the glue. Slide your hands down to make sure it's at straight as it can be and then you're gonna go in once again so grab your glue once again you're gonna lift up where you just pressed so you're gonna make sure that um, you can you're, this is the second time you're gonna put the glue in so go ahead and just put the glue close to the rod again wherever like didn't get enough glue so just lift it up to see the places where you're kind of vulnerable if you will or you don't didn't put enough glue 
and then you're gonna press down. Um, so I'm just gonna do this whole side and then press down. So get close to the rod as possible because we are, you know, trying to cover the rod. But make sure that, oh gosh, make sure that um, you're not putting too much glue because you don't want to damage the fabric. Some fabrics, if you put on too much glue, it's going to damage the fabric. So only go in twice, don't go three times. The glue is strong enough that you can just go in, in it twice. And then, so this is the part that you can go in and like, um, like just spin it around just to make sure that the rod is on the side that you want it to be. Um, usually the rod is where I want it to be, so I haven't like ever taken the rod out after I glued it down. And by the way, pro tip, please um, get some gloves because this will mess up your hands and it's very, very strong glue. You don't want them touch, you don't want the glue touching you. Oh, and also whilst you're gluing it, you want to periodically lift it up just to make sure that your flap doesn't glue down to the paper towel underneath because that has happened to me before and it was not a good experience. I, I literally had to rip the paper towel off of the uh, flag, so make sure that that doesn't happen to you. So, so far I've showed you how to do the um single flags but this is if you want to do like a set so here are some like one of my professionally made flags these are by call to flag so obviously you can see i have a set then this red fabric is what i want to make into flags this is two yards so just place whatever flag kind of size that you want like whatever you're using as an outline on top of the fabric that you want um to make flags out of so usually i'll go in um, I can usually at this point just get scissors and just cut around, but if you want to make sure that yours is exact, you can get um, a black Sharpie or perhaps in this case, maybe like a red Sharpie and just go around the outline of these flags. Um, just make sure that the size, the, the length of this side right here of the rod of the professional um, uh, flags aligns with the rods that you plan to use so I just made sure that the rods that I plan to use will still fit um, in my fabric once I cut it out so that's just something to note and make sure that once you're cutting it it still can um, sustain the rod that you want to place so some a little advice about when to know when your rods are dry when you like press against the um, rod just be a little bit gentle you want to determine if it feels still if it still feels wet and sticky if it still feels wet and sticky give it a couple more hours but to be on the safe side give it at least 24 hours i would personally recommend 48 hours because um, some glues are different and you just want to be absolute sure i would rather wait one or two days um before like waving that or, or using it um, because waiting an extra like day or an extra 12 hours um, just to make sure it's really set can be the difference with these lasting um, several months or even years plus or you know falling out in a couple of weeks so that extra day or 24 or 12 hours can really make a difference once you're done find a place for them to dry for at least um, 24 hours. Again, I don't know how to sew. This is the easy way to do it. What you wanna do is get a butane um, lighter wand, um, uh, preferably one that you can refill. Um, so just buy this lighter wand and then buy a butane um, lighter refill fluid because um, I'll show you uh, later, but you can uh, refill it by just pouring more fluid in there because this will t this will probably run out when you do like I want to say three or four flags. But first, you're gonna turn the light the fl fire on. I prefer having it on the lowest setting, so having it on the minus. This is an example of some frizzy ends. So you're gonna make sure that your lighter is on the lowest setting, and then you're gonna turn it on and just basically go across the ends. Um, you only need to run through them once you don't need to go back and forth um, just ha you know have a controlled speed be calm I promise you I've done this like over 10 times the fire will not burn you um, 
you know, if you do this correctly. So, might be a little hard for me right now because I'm trying to make sure the camera is good, but awesome. So, try and get um, this on eye level while. Uh, just to make sure you get all the frizziness and of course making sure that you don't burn the fabric I've done this before where I kind of lost a little bit of control and it didn't like obviously start a fire But it just went deeper into the fabric than I would have wanted to so just make sure that you have a controlled hand um, And again, let me just show you one more time how it's done When you have it on the lowest uh, See, example like that, when you have it on the lowest setting, um, it might take like a minute, or it might take a few seconds to start. So yeah, just make sure this doesn't happen. You don't want to try and not have a burnt indentation, so just try your best and stay focused and be calm. Yeah. So my technique, as you saw, was just get close to the fabric as possible um, and have it slanted so that you're not going down to burn the fabric, but slanted to just burn the rest of the frizz. So here's an, another example. I can just do it um, once more. So here's an example of more frizz. So I'm just going to get closer so you guys can see my technique better. But here I'm just going to have it. I'm gonna, uh, can I do it in the front? Okay. I'm just gonna have it slanted a bit. Just go like this. Close to the fabric. All running across. And just like that, like in this section, it's all gone. Um, if you feel like it's on the other side, you might wanna flip it over and do the other side. I'm just gonna flip it over and do the other side real quick. But yeah, and I'll show you the finished product.